Well, once again, the, in a quick meeting, the European Union Council has been considering the situation in the eastern borders of Europe, in the border between Ukraine and, and Russia. We have got news about uh, some withdrawal of troops, but it has not evidence of it. We don't have evidence of it. I'm just coming from a NATO ministerial meeting to talk about the coordination between the European Union and NATO, and certainly nobody has evidence of this withdrawal of troops. But what we have uh, evidence, and we are very much concerned, very much worried, is about uh, increasing fighting and heavy shelling in some parts of the border. Exactly the part that I was visiting at the beginning of January, where it was not any military activity in the last month, on the last hours, it has been heavy shelling, heavy bombing, fighting, and also we notice a lot of uh, disinformation from Russian sites in order to create an atmosphere of uh, alleged attacks against Russian people in, the part, in this part of Ukraine. If you add to that the fact that the Duma has voted to ask President Putin to recognize the independency of these two separatist republics, the whole package increases our concerns. Certainly, we are very much worried. And sir, do you still believe in Minsk? Is, is that still possible to be implemented and be successful? In the current situation, I, in the current situation, we are not talking about Minsk. We are talking about the security concerns in the border. Shelling has started. Heavy shelling, bombing, disinformation campaigns. We still believe in the diplomatic process, and we will concentrate all our efforts on the diplomatic activity. But on the other hand, and the Council today has been informed about it, we have already prepared a full package of sanctions. We have been working on that. I've been in touch with the US, with all our like-minded countries, with the technical support of the Commission, we have a very tough package prepared, and as High Representative, I am ready to present this package to the Council, because it is the Council who has the responsibility and the capability of approving sanctions, and it's up to me to present the package of sanctions. And I will do it as soon as needed. If there is an aggression, I will immediately call the Foreign Affairs Council to propose the package of sanctions, and I'm sure that even if unanimity is required, the Council will approve them. So you're talking about the fighting has intensified. I cannot the understand five start. people talking at the same time. So you're saying that the, the fighting has intensified in the eastern part of Ukraine. Isn't that the time to actually impose new sanctions? When the moment comes, we will act decisively. When, is that moment, when the level of intensity of the aggression requires. And you were talking about a tough package of sanctions. What about energy? What, kind, what role does energy play? Energy will be one of the most important issues in this package. But I cannot tell you the content of the package, neither which is the moment to implement it. Europe is completely united about it. Sanctions require unanimity of the member states. But today, at the European Union Council, everybody has insisted on agreeing and this unity is there in order to use it. I said all. Thank you so much, But remember one thing. We are here today and tomorrow to talk about Africa. Now, uh, it would be a pity that what's happening in the eastern border of Europe makes us to forget about this important summit with Africa. Do you want to be Africa's best friend? Not so much China. We are the African best friends, the biggest investor, the biggest helper, the biggest trader partner. And we have a lot to work with Africa.
because African problems are our problems. Yesterday I was at the Elysee with the President Macron and a group of African and European countries talking about the military presence in Sahel. You know that uh, it has been a new this morning that France is going to withdraw, not only France, France and other member states who are helping France. They will withdraw from Mali, but we are not abandoning Mali, we are not abandoning Sahel, we are just restructuring our presence. We will continue supporting Sahelian people and Mali people, but it's important that this support has to be implemented in accordance with the political situation in Mali. But we are not abandoning Sahel, we are not abandoning Mali, we are just restructuring our presence in order to face the new political situation. Thank you very much. Thank you.